Hey everyone, I'm back again. This is a really long build, so I'm just going to talk for about half of this because I really don't want to talk for, I think, yeah, almost 17 minutes. But I saw a picture of a house that looked a lot like this on um, the internet. Just Google. I googled something like fancy modern house and something like this came up. It was a little bit smaller than this because I did not realize how huge I had made this house until after like I looked on the inside when I was going to start furnishing and I was like, oh, this is really big. But I think it ends up looking pretty good. Um, it has two bedrooms and three bathrooms. Yeah, one downstairs and two upstairs. Each of the bedrooms has um, access to their own bathroom. The One of the ones upstairs, um, the bedroom has access to it and then the hallway has access to it as well. But yeah, it's it's very modern looking home. It's, it's really pretty. I really like it. I'd live here. I really love the back of the house the most. It's like there's a pool and there's all this gardening and that's the side of the house on the internet that I saw was the back of the house with the pool, so I just kind of mimicked the um, what the back of the house looked like for the front because I was like, I don't know what to do here, but it ends up it ends up looking really really nice, and I really like the the walls of it as well. They're like I love the retro lux. I think that's what it's called, but I use it for a lot of house builds. It just, it looks really good if you're doing like fancy or modern, especially for modern. But I end up changing it to a lighter brown leader. But I, I thought the dark brown just looked a little too dark for the game. I don't know. I've I've seen a lot of people complaining about this, how this game is really dark. I haven't had too many problems with it, but I've noticed a lot of the lighting is not very bright. There's only a few lights, like the beamer and that little snow globe light are the only lights that really give off a lot of light. Other than that, you have to use like three lights and a lamp to get the light you want, and then a bunch of windows in the room. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I'm just putting in windows. It's lots of windows in this house, but that's what I like about it. It's super bright and open, and there's, in the bottom part of the house, there's no, like, doors or anything except for the um, bathroom but there's like there's like an open study area and the kitchen's open and the dining room's open and the dining room also doubles as a bar so yeah there's a bar a kitchen dining room study bathroom and living area in the bottom area also, I tried to do kind of like a dance area, because since this house was so huge, I started like running out of ideas for this house, and so there's this part, and I was like, I have no clue what to do here, there's like nothing to do, so I just threw in like a stereo and a rug, and I was like, meh, we'll call it good. If you guys want to change it, if you download this from the gallery, then go ahead, I don't really care. Also, I still need to upload this to the gallery, so if you're watching this right now, as I like right after I upload it, I think it's like the 8th today, then it's not going to be up. I'll probably put it up tomorrow. Um, but but yeah, I, I, I really, I do like this house. It's, it's modern, I guess. I'm running out of things to say. This video is so long. Oh yeah, I'm doing the, the grassy plant stuff now. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like beachy trees or uh, more foresty trees. I ended up doing more foresty trees. I think I'd take out that bamboo. No, I don't take out the bamboo tree. I did put this other tree over in that little circle-y patch over there. You'll see in a bit. I took that out and added something else. One of those cypress trees, I think. And, um, I really like this little patch of garden stuff here, though. I, I just think it looks really cute. It's like a little backdrop for if you're sitting down and watching people in the pool or whatever. It looks quite nice, I think. I ended up putting a fencing around all of that as well. I thought it looked very, I don't know, it looks very weird when you don't have fencing around like, or, or some kind of border around boxes of plants and things like that, or just like plots of planting, I don't know what to call it. You'll see the tree here in a little bit, The tree, that one right there, I changed that because it looked way too beachy, and this house is more of like, it, it's in um, the main... Not Oasis Springs, the other one. 
the main, I don't know, it's the lot right next to the biggest lot in the game, I don't know which one that is, but it's, I, just can't, I can't remember the name of the place, okay, anyway, anyway, it's not an Oasis Springs, and it's not like a beachy place to have it, so, I, I, I didn't put the beachy trees, and I just had, yeah, I changed it there, okay, anyway, moving on from trees, um, I'm putting in bushes here. I don't. I still don't know if I like that border of bushes, but it needed something, so I just threw that in. And then I love those little bushes that came with the. Um, I think it came with the patio stuff pack, or the luxury party one. I don't remember, but I really like those. And I think I made use of almost a lot of the packs. Um, I used the luxury party stuff pack, the patio pack. Um, get to work, I do believe I used that one, and I don't think I used outdoor retreat. Oh, I used outdoor retreat for a lot of the plants and stuff, so, but other than that, it's, yeah, those are the only, I don't have the spa day yet, my friend really wants me to get it, because we share this game, but I was like, I don't know, I never use it except for the, uh, like, the stuff that comes with the game, like, the house stuff. That's basically all I do on The Sims is build houses and occasionally do a do a like a challenge or something. I'm working on the Disney challenge right now. And it's where you have like you start off with like Snow White or someone and you have to have like seven kids. It's actually a lot of fun. Um I haven't done it in a while. Like I start off with a family and then I I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this challenge. And then I end up doing it like three weeks later, and then in, in between that time, I'm starting a bunch of other challenges and making a bunch of other families. Cause I just get bored with doing the same family over and over again. It's like, well, I'm gonna make a new one. Well, anyway, um, should be, yeah, I'm moving on to the inside now. Uh, yeah, this is me realizing that the inside is huge, and it's like, what am I gonna do? But. I have a fairly large staircase. I think it looks I think it looks really good. I was gonna do the small one, but I'm like, this is a fancy house. I should probably have some fancy things. Um, the kitchen is actually that, that was me trying to do like um, a split level, but then I realized I had no foundation. I was like, oh, I'm too lazy to add foundation. So I just um, starting on the kitchen soon here. Um, the kitchen's actually pretty small in my opinion, but I was like, I really, I don't have the time to change it, so I just kind of, also, I never really make use of those counters after I got the, um, perfect patio stuff and I got those really, really nice granite top counters, I never use these ones anymore, but, um, I was like, yeah, I should really do some black or something like that, um, here's a little island over there, and the theme in the kitchen is kind of yellow and black. The walls end up being like a purpley color. I don't know what I was thinking. It looks okay. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking here and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Also, there's this one part where um, I had saved and it took forever to save. Like, I was sitting there for 10 minutes and saving. So I cut that part of the video out, but it cut like too much out. And I was too lazy to go back and fix it. Yeah, I know I'm making excuses. But anyway, um, I'm really sorry about that. You'll see it when I'm doing the upstairs boys' bedroom. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel, please. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
Sad man, don't. 